Hey everybody, this is Ben Brian from PNB Homesteading, and I wanted to give the update for the mid-sized grow tent for this week. And uh, got some interesting stuff to show you, so let me grab a camera and I'll bring it over. All right, got my safety goggles on top of my head here, so let me put those on. Okay, so you can see up here, I was mentioning in the, uh, the video for the uh, salad bar LED area that we've got not as much growth on the hot mix salad that we do is inside this tent here. And this one here, you can see, it is much taller. It's about that tall. We got one little outlier there that's growing clear up to the top of the, the roof there. But uh, for the most part, they're all about this high, probably about four inches, maybe five. And uh, compared to the one that has never had a cut, this is double the size of what the one that's never been cut yet. So it's, it's like right about here, this height. It looks anemic, looks sickly, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cut off of that one that's over there, and I'll take this one and put it back over in the salad bar LED area and see if I can get that other one to get the vigor that this has. And I've done nothing different. You know, both of these are the exact same watering, same fertilizer, the organic fertilizer, uh, compost tea that I've put in there, and uh, it's kind of kind of interesting why one of them that I've cut is actually bigger than the one that has never been cut. So that'll be something that I want to keep an eye on. Uh, the beta salad mix, it's ready to go for a harvest. I mean, it's it's gotten nice and big, it's nice and full. We've got our first cut of our uh, beta salad mix. No, that wasn't beta, that was, uh, which one was that? It wasn't the Yankee, it could have been DMR. It looks pretty, sim no, it's not even similar to DMR. I don't need this. This is the ones that you know. We, when I got so excited about setting up this new mid-sized tent, I had no idea what I was growing. So, but you know, you can look at it. It's ready for another harvest. So I'll probably take another harvest off it. I'm probably going to use this as one of my dump trays for this week, so I can reseed with maybe some of my Asian greens. I think it was a Mitsuni, and then there's a couple other ones that I bought that I wanted to try out. So that's probably going to be one that will, you know, rotate back in to the rotation into the big tent after I do my cutting for this week. And then I'll cut it and dump it. And then I've got, let's see, we got the Yankee Hardy lettuce blend. It's coming along nice. You know, it's got a lot of nice full growth. I think, believe we're coming into our third week since we seeded that. So it's coming up pretty well. We've got this one here, this chard. I mean, well, this this beta mix is actually looks like it's, it's turning into chard. So I'm gonna have to harvest this one. This is gonna be one that's gonna get rotated into the, the, the salad LED mix area to be harvested. That one there is ready to be harvested. We've got that one down there. Let me rotate the camera here so you guys can get a better shot of some of these. So that one there, I mean, you can see it's ready to harvest. So we've got three beta salad mixes, possibly a fourth one we could actually rotate and we could have like, you know, a, a really healthy greens salad. I mean, that's that would be great because then we could actually take some of that and we could saute that. So I could harvest off probably three of those at once leave one and then that'll be probably two weeks from now I'll do that so like this week I'll take the harvest off of the one move two of those out so that'll be two weeks out that'll be nice and we got our DMR salad mix these were first cut so you can and one thing that's really kind of cool is about all this stuff you can see the difference so you see the lighting it's right up above the top of this one there's a gap in between this tray and then you can see the lights over the top of that tray. That tray is kicking it. This one over here is rocking. This one in the middle, it's anemic. And it's got to be because of that gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first cut tray here, rotate it over here today, this one over here. That way I can get them caught up to each other. And I mean, this is one week's growth after the cutting. I mean, look at this thing. That is crazy how fast that came back. I mean, that's going to be ready for cut and come again. And so this... This DMR blend is really turning out to be, I think, the winner out of all the ones that I'm going to have in my tent that I'm going to probably focus at least probably six trays on to where it'll be in constant rotation. The beta mix is okay. I mean, I do love the flavor of the beta mix, but uh, just the sheer volume you get off this DMR is really, really, you know, exciting me about how much I can save and make these... It'll help me make these tents cost-effective quicker because I'll cut down on the amount of time it takes to get my yields 
versus you know the amount of electricity it takes to get a beta solid mixed to this stage compared to a cut and come again to where it's ready to go the next week I mean that's that's something that you know if you guys are doing a tent like this in your house and you're doing microgreens this is the kind of information that you may want to have to where you can make it profitable to where you're you're rocking out you know if you put a whole tent like I've got set up here with just that you'd have enough to where you could start supplementing a restaurant maybe I don't know once a week I don't know how, I don't know how much a restaurant I mean a small restaurant I guess you know you, like a taco truck if you're, if you're servicing uh, you know the food carts here in the Portland metro area you could actually have enough to where you could supply a food cart I would say if they were doing like a mixed green salad or a taco truck to where they could have a really nice nice lettuce blend I mean that's a business idea for some of you guys you know want to have to you know working for the man <laughs> Uh, anyway, here's the uh, the beta lettuce mix down here, and that was the uh, first cut. And these were the two trays I was going to dump, but then I thought, you know, I'll give them another shot and see what they come back with. And you can see, look at that growth. That's something I'm noticing on a lot of these. They really put their vigor into their growth once you do their first cut. Because I think they just they, they it, it freaks the plant out. The plant thinks, oh my gosh, I'm being eaten. I got to really kick it up a notch and put my vigor into my plant and try to get my seeds out before I die. Before this thing that's coming through here and just grazing me off, you know, completely kills me. And so I think it's really just, you know, I mean, look at all that growth back there. I mean, I was gonna dump those trays and they're producing enough to where I'm gonna get a decent, you know, couple days worth of salad greens for Paula and I. Uh, I just find that amazing. So then we got the arugula. It's really, really coming along. You can see it's growing pretty well back there in the back you notice it's it's not as tall as out here so it may be a little too warm for it back there so I'm gonna take this tray and I'm gonna spin it around put that side back there and then I may move this once once I'm done with the hot mix I may not you know that's an idea I could ditch the hot mix out of the salad bar LED area put this arugula over there because arugula likes it cooler and arugula usually will bolt really heavily if it gets hot so this would probably be a good time to actually switch this over there and uh, get it to be kind of like a permanent resident over there in the uh, salad bar LED area. So that's an idea. I'll have to remember to watch this video again and when I actually rotate my trays for this next week. <laughs> you see, these videos aren't just helpful for you guys. They're helpful for me because I forget all this stuff with the stuff that I have to do for work as well as, you know, other things I've got going on here at the house with like remodeling bathrooms and doing all kinds of things. I forget these things. I'm human. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the update for the, uh, the mid-sized grow tent. I'll spin this camera back around here. Get me on the, my beautiful bushy Sasquatch beard face on the camera again. Okay. <laughs> you got. I, I tell you. <laughs> Somebody, they thought they got nuts. They saw me down here talking underneath my house. I didn't have a camera with me. See, at least now, when I'm in here under here, talking to myself under my house, I've got somebody to actually watch me. And they don't think that I'm just nuts down here just whacking on, you know, wackadoo, <laughs> talking to myself by my plants. All right, talk to you guys again. Bye.